Why can't the press support Britain? Why do they always have to be muckraking like this? Why can't they write about our successes? Like, uh, well, like <laughs> my date onto the Soviets. Well, there are friendly noises coming from the Kremlin, but it hasn't actually led to anything concrete, though, has no, it? It's going to. <laughs> <laughs> May I suggest that instead of trying to butter up the press, we distract them. Let's give them a story. Such as? Start a war, that sort of thing. <laughs> Start a war? Uh, only a small war. <laughs> but if I might intervene, even a small war would be overkill. <laughs> Why don't you expel 76 Soviet diplomats? <laughs> that has been our practice in the past when we... <laughs> when we wish to ensure that the press lose interest in something. I can't do that. It'd be a great headline for you. Government cracks down on red spiring. Very patriotic. It must be a story that nobody can disprove. And which will be believed even if it's denied. Soviet ambassador's chauffeur is Lieutenant General in KGB. <laughs> I can't do that. I've been working at this detente of the Soviets for weeks. It's the only thing that is working at the moment. What am I to do, Humphrey? Perhaps we should send the story out. But smother it. Smother it? You mean... Oh, Prime Minister, I've been meaning to tell you. There's some very worrying information on the Foreign Office files about espionage in the Soviet Embassy and Trade Delegation. <laughs> oh. Evidence against a lot of diplomats. How many? Seventy-six. 76. <laughs> you know, Humphrey, I think the time has come to be firm. Absolutely. After all, the defence of the realm is at stake. Precisely. Expel them. And I want the press told today. At, at the, the same, same time. time. <laughs> yes, Prime Minister.